Rape culture speaks to all the societal norms that promote a toxic environment that sexual violence can thrive in. Many don't like to talk about it, but Jamaica has a strong rape culture and it's perpetuated through the glamorization of misogynistic behaviors, the normalization of sexual misconduct, especially when persons don't understand the basic concept of consent, and on the victim's part, fear of possible retaliation and further victimization if reported. All these work together to create a society that disregards a person's sexual rights and safety, but it especially affects women, as they are statistically the most vulnerable. Through my advocacy work, I speak to Jamaican women from all types of societal backgrounds, and the stories are all the same. We are affected by it, and we feel that it's at epidemic levels, and no one is really talking about it or addressing it meaningfully. Just taking public transportation to and from work daily can be an anxiety-riddled experience for Jamaican women, especially for survivors. Something as simple as a Saturday night out socializing can easily turn into a situation of sexual harassment or assault. We wanted to showcase this so persons can get a true understanding of really what it feels like to walk in a Jamaican woman's shoes. That's why Watuka Films has partnered with N-Rape Culture JA to debut a new film called Nice Lady. It really goes in depth into the psyche of women, especially as it relates to the constant fear they feel while they carry out their daily lives. I think most persons will find it entertaining and even chilling. We're one of the newer organizations in Jamaica and we utilize public education and behavior change programs in order to end sexual violence in the country. Also, as part of our mission, we empower victims by educating them about the tools necessary for their healing process and provide information on how to effectively report sex crimes so that sexual offenders can be successfully prosecuted. We're also now working on extensive strategic collaboration in the advocacy space, and this is in order to ultimately effect major change in attitudes and policies. It's a cause that I'm extremely passionate about because the statistics are dismal and we all know that the available statistics don't represent the true number or breadth of the problem in Jamaica. Rape remains historically one of the most underreported crimes. We need sustainable change so it can be safer for women, but it has to be a collaborative effort from all stakeholders. And that doesn't just include the government and other institutions. It includes you, and how you choose to stamp out behaviors that encourage rape culture in your daily life.